Marie Ann Minardi, and today I'm here with Carol Lyle Shaw. She's an author, a designer, a founding member of the Sarasota Modern Quilt Guild, and an MQG board member. And last year she did a really cool project where she organized a virtual charity quilt team and they made blocks and created a quilt. So Carol, can you tell us about that project? Sure, thanks a lot. Uh, it was a great project. Uh, I sent out a call on Instagram and other social media and to my own mailing list saying, hey, would you like to be part of a virtual charity quilt team? And uh, 19 people responded most in the US and we had one member from Canada, so that was exciting. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So how did you organize all these people from so many different places? Well, uh, that's a great question. We used a webinar platform so we could meet face to face as a group, we could see each other. And we did all the planning in that initial webinar. We chose the X block because it was very simple. Uh, we knew the palette we were going to use and we talked about the deadlines uh, and other aspects of the project, such as how we would decide where to uh, distribute the quilt that we made. We actually ended up making two quilts and gave them to a foundation that supports people with ALS. Oh, wow. So what was the process of making the blocks and coming, getting them back to be uh, constructed? Okay. Uh, I purchased the fabric and uh, we had decided on a series of block sizes. Uh, we decided that it would be improvisationally laid out, but we wanted certain sizes uh, to be made so we'd have a range and a variety because that was part of the requirement for the uh, charity quilt that we were making. Uh, I then made up a table with everybody's name and assigned people to make three or four blocks in a particular size, sent out the fabric, they mailed the blocks back, and then I proceeded to trim them up and lay them out. It was so much fun. And so did you, do the, the, did you finish the quilt yourself? Uh, actually, I sent it out to a long armor, a friend of mine who long armed both quilts and did a beautiful job. And then I sat in front of the TV when they came back and put the bindings on and sent them off to the foundation to be donated uh, to the recipients. So, um, what would you tell people who want to organize a similar virtual charity be like this? Sure. A uh, couple things. One is definitely use technology so that you can meet together. That, I think, really helped with everyone's commitment because everyone did their blocks. No one dropped out. And secondly, uh, one thing I would suggest is decide how you're going to financially support it. I decided I would purchase the fabric and uh, pay to have them long armed, but you could have people contribute a few dollars using, you know, some type of online uh, software to do that, uh, just to cover mailing costs and fabric costs. And I, last thing I would say is keep the blocks simple. <laughs> that made it easy for people to bake their blocks and return them way before the deadline, which makes the whole project go faster. Great. And so it sounds like you. Um, found some great community and yes. met some great people in the process as well. Yes, I did. Uh, most people I did not know personally. We might have, you know, exchanged a few comments on Instagram. Uh, so that was great to get to know people. And then when I saw them uh, in the future face to face, we had this other connection. Well, thank you so much for sharing that, Carol. Um, I'm sure you've inspired our viewers to try something like this on their own.